aftermath of a devastating fire, those who've lost their businesses look for comfort. Jennifer Snitch owns a travel agency. It and multiple other businesses went up in flames Thursday evening at a now-destroyed Hyde Park Plaza. For Jennifer, it was a long night. Yeah, quite a few tears. Not so much yesterday, but when we came here today and saw that everything is gone, our livelihoods are gone. It's heartbreaking. The fire that sent smoke billowing into the sky moved quickly, taking out a paint store, a dry cleaning shop, the travel mart, and a piano store, among others. In the debris, you can make out some of the high-end pianos, some said to be over $100,000 in value. The co-owner of the piano store, along with her son, was too upset to speak on camera. It was also hard for Tyler Arndt, who was working in a now-destroyed restaurant, right when the flames were first noticed. 25 people were inside at the time. Uh, around 6.30, I was just in the kitchen putting some pans away, and then uh, one of the waiters came in from a smoke, and he said there was a fire out back, so we all exited the building. With the building all but gone, Tyler isn't sure what he'll do for a summer job now. The situation is far more serious for Jackie Cornell, another employee of the restaurant. She was celebrating her birthday nearby with her daughter when they both spotted flames. Went through my head that is possibly it could be Porcino restaurant. We actually had a joke about it, my daughter and I, and was hoping that was a, a joke and it wasn't. It was, it was the restaurant. But thanks to the efforts of firefighters, some businesses did escape major damage. Amanda McLean's store is in the next building. I have 55 vendors stocked in there. All of their stock is fine. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Like, I just, I can't imagine the devastation of the rest of the buildings. A deputy fire chief says this will be a seven-figure loss. Dave Lazenby says his crews fought the fire defensively once it was clear that, thankfully, no one was left inside. When they arrived on scene, the roof was collapsing. Um, you know, and, and you have to make that decision. You, do, do you risk firefighters' lives? With damage into the millions and months to rebuild or relocate, this is a heavy loss. It comes just as these business owners were recovering from construction along Hyde Park Road. Business has suffered because of the construction recently and we're all just getting back on our feet and something like this happens and puts us back down again. It's really, really devastating. Sean Irvin, CTV News.